hey, everybody. You know, I can't start talking until I get my little nod from my producer. So thank you, sir. Kind of caught me off guard. My name is Jim Austin. I am the uh, your MC, my podcast. We're here in the Stockyards at the Stockyards Recording Studios. And we're here celebrating the national NFR is going on. And we're just celebrating the life of the cowboy and the cowgirl. But um, downstairs is my museum, the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum. And we're upstairs at the um, at 21, 21st and Main. And what I do is I have a podcast. And my podcast talks about commercial real estate, talks about what goes on in North Texas. But most important, it talks to people that are interesting and got something on their mind. So today, I have a special, special guest who came all the way in from New Mexico, and uh, he is a, a future Hall of Famer in the rodeo business, and he bought, he let his mom come with him. So uh, I want to welcome Parker Hook and uh, La Latoya, Latoya Hook from New Mexico. How you guys doing? Good. How about you? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. What I'm going to do is I start out social distancing with my mask so that people know that I'm concerned because it's important that we wear our masks in this day and time because if we're going to get rid of the COVID, we got to wear our mask and have our distance. So thank you for uh, calling and wanting to come over and see my museum. How did you like it? Loved it. We loved it. Lots of history. Lots of, yeah, yeah. We talk about the history of the forgotten cowboys. Uh, we have 130 Hall of Famers. We're located in the historic stockyards on the corner of 21st and Main. And, um, you know, we're be we've been closed since March. But now we're taking uh, appointments to come see it. And you talk to the to my wife, the executive director, and we are the co-founders, so we spent some time. And just a little story is I was, and you might have seen it on my Facebook page, I was over at IHOP, one of my, not IHOP, the Waffle House, one of my favorite places to have breakfast because it's fresh, it's good, and I love the coffee. And I sat in, I saw these two good-looking cowboys come in, and Travis and uh, Cooper. And I s introduced myself and uh, I told them about my museum and come to find out that one of our sponsors for our museum is Wrangler. And they've been sharing tickets with us. So I called them that night and I said, hey guys, I got four tickets to the NFR. Would you guys like to go? They said, Heck yeah, Mr. Austin. <laughs> So they were out mesquite about an hour out. They said, we're coming. So I hosted them at the uh, NFR Compliments of Wrangler. And um, I told them about my museum. So they told me about this young uh, cowboy that was riding bulls. And I said, what? So I told my production manager, look, we're going to mesquite to see this, this guy. You know, his name is Parker. And we're going to go see him and uh, check him out. So today, Mr. Parker is in my studios. How you doing, son? Good. You good? Good. Well, it's good to talk to you. And um, you know, you, you, how old are you? Seven. Seven. And where do you live? Lovington, New Mexico. Lovington, New Mexico. That is good. And what grade are you in? Second. Se second grade? Come on, dude. You know, you're not riding bulls, are you? I am. You are? <laughs> okay. Now, now, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a cowboy in sort. You know, I can ride a horse. But, and I have my friends that, that ride, you know, bulls. And I, I want to make sure that you meet my friend Charlie Sampson. Charlie Sampson was the first African-American world champion bull rider. And just a good friend, we can get him on the phone and we can talk to him. You know, he comes in, he's in our Hall of Fame and all. But what made you want to 
Start riding bulls, son. Remind me of Papa if I took him to the weekend fair in Bumpton, and then I watched the bull ride and I started to like it. Really? I'm going to ask your mom. Is it all right for him to take the mask yes, off? It is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we, because my my listening audience wants to see you, okay? You're a little cutie pie too. You know, you've been that way all your life. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, is there any amount of time that's different for a young bull rider as opposed to an older bull rider, or how many minutes you have to stay on the bull? Six seconds, okay. That's a long time, six seconds, you know. And um, what's your, um, what do you want to do as you grow up? I mean, do you want to take it to another level? Because I talk to parents and young people that if you want to find a scholarship for your child is to get involved with equestrian and, and, and ranch rodeo and all, so... That lines up. So there will be a lot of colleges looking at you wanting to give you a scholarship. How about that? You like that? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You know, when you go to college, you know what you want to major in yet? No. No, I'm a businessman, okay? So I always talk to young people about entrepreneurship. I'm not only an entrepreneur, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I graduated from Howard University in Washington, D.C., I went to the School of Business and got my degree. And, um, you know, that that's very important. But tell me, when you're getting on that bull, are you nervous? Sometimes. Sometimes? You know, it just depends on the bull or it just depends on you? It depends on me. On you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So when, um, you know, you put, you've got some footage of you riding bulls? Yes, sir. I'd love for your mother to send me some of that. And uh, we're on the Austin File. This is a podcast that's going to go all over the world. We're syndicated. So when it goes up, you'll have a copy of it, and it'll be something that you can forever remember of having conversation, you know, with Mr. Austin and all. So let me see. I mean, being a bull rider, seven years old, I mean, it's not connected. How big are these bulls? About this size? Okay. Are you going to be riding this week? Yes, sir. Okay. Mom, tell us about when, you know, Parker is going to be riding this week where they can come see him. Okay. okay. So he rides tomorrow, and it starts at 930. And he, yesterday it was it was really long, so he might ride around 10 or so, but it's at the um, Coliseum in Mesquite. Mesquite, mm -hmm. yeah. That's um a lot of rodeos going over Lots. there. And understand that Cooper's family provides the stock. They they are one of the stock contractors. So his Cooper's parents own 7N Mini Buckers, and Parker qualified through them. So through the year, you have to make a qualified ride. So you have to ride for six seconds to be able to qualify. And Parker just, he just started bulls in June. June 20th was the first time he ever got on a bull. So to even be at the World Finals is like unbelievable so 65 kids in his age division best in the world whoa yeah. whoa I, i'm going to make sure that i get your autograph son five months on bulls and made it to the world and finals. mom if you want to take your uh, mask off too yeah oh okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> we got some good looking people up in here today <laughs> so we like that and and passionate. They went through the museum. They took pictures, and I think I impressed them. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. But yeah, you can I get your autograph before you leave? Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm giving you a gift right here. We're gonna. I was at the NFR uh, opening on Thursday night, and uh, had good seats, and it was phenomenal. So I want you to have this, and uh, if you want my signature on it, I don't know what it means, but I'm going to do that. But I'm going to get you to sign something. Matter of fact, that Cowboys of Color book, I'm going to get you to sign that. And then I'm also, you know, one of my friend, well, dear friends was Herb Jeffries. Herb's was the bronze buckaroo, 
And Herb was, uh, he did four uh, movies back in 1930 because he saw that Hollywood was not showing blacks and Hispanics and Indians, Native Americans, in the movies. So he did four uh, Westerns, and he was the starring member. He was the lead singer for Duke Ellington, lived to be 100 years old, and just a cool cat. Man, when he met, we just we just hooked it up, and uh, so I'm gonna give that to you too, so you can take home, and you all remember this thing. So if there was something you want to tell another seven-year-old about riding bulls and if they should be doing that, you don't know. You probably don't want no more competition, because if you're going for world championship, you say, hey. Let me let me get that buckle, you know. Do you have any um, buckles? Yeah. You do? You got one on today or no? No. No, not one today? Okay. Tell them how many buckles you want this year. Thirteen. Thirteen buckles, man. You're, you're hearing it right here on the Austin file. And um, th this is powerful that we have Parker Hooks in the house today talking about his career and I was going to Mesquite to find you and you found me at my Western Heritage Museum you know God is good you know because I told Blue I said we got to go to Mesquite and meet this young man and I started talking and mom said he right here so um, how, how do you feel mom with your son your it's, baby it's, boy it's for sure different we just like I, the whole world of rodeo is so different like it's so much support that I, it's like to me it's the best sport around so i own a cheer gym and so i coach cheerleading but it's so cutthroat and this i mean we had his competition's dad is helping him tie on his rope teaching us what we need to do putting on practices so it is so i mean it's so much support it's crazy it's not like anything else people will help you from i mean all over just because they just love the sport so Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is good, and I want to make sure I get your contact and we stay in, in touch. And thank you for moving on the dime. You know, we call it in the industry pivoting, you know, and uh, just having him in here right here so we can talk to him and, and, and capture it for sure. And uh, how many, do you have any sisters and brothers? Yes. One's baby and my sister's best. Say that again. Oh, okay. Is that your sister over there? Yes. Yeah, okay. Is she a good sister? Yeah. She's supportive? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Because, you know, uh, I might see you on Ninja Warriors, you know? She's uh, very supportive. She, they already have their life planned out. They're going to buy a ranch in Texas, and she's going to drive them to rodeos. She's super supportive. <laughs> well, you know, I sell real estate, and I can uh -huh. sell ranches, too. So when you get ready, don't forget Jim Austin, the uh, fresh prince of commercial real estate. And that's what I do for a living. I get up every morning at 5 o'clock excited about going to work. Are you excited about riding bulls? Yes, oh, right. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm impressed. And I got a lot of friends since I've been in this uh, Western business and starting the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum. So uh, um, Bob Kaufman, who's the uh, rodeo announcement for the stock show, is a good friend and all. And then I told um, um, Jeff Chadwick with Wrangler about you, you know. So, you know, that's the thing about looking for sponsorship. So... I know your parents are, are on it. What's what's your dad's name? Derek Hooks. Derek Hook? Is it Hooks with an S? Yeah, I like it. You know, and, and how did you get that name, man? I mean, come on, Parker. You know, that's a cowboy name. So was he born with that, ma'am? He was born with it. <laughs> you know. It's funny, our, my uh, great aunt, whenever she goes, well, what are you going to name this next kid? And I said, and she's like, no, that's an old cowboy's man's name. And we're like, well, that's what his name's going to be. Man, it was just like when I met uh, Cooper and Travis. I mean, they just had those names. And uh, I'm going to get to go to the rodeo on uh, Friday night. 
as a guest of uh, Jeff. And um, um, I was supposed to go Saturday, but they've got some uh, responders that they want to entertain. So I'm going to be going to the rodeo um, uh, Friday night. So I'm going to see. Maybe I can hook you up and, and you can go to the NFR. You know, I went when it was in Vegas. Your grandfather said he went when it was in Oklahoma City. I mean, this is the best of the West. And, I mean, in that stadium, it's just, just, just such an awe for sure. But, you know, if something falls down, I'm going to let you all know and uh, be in the house. But I'm definitely going to let Jeff know about you. He was in that seat yesterday. He came in and I interviewed him and he told story. He old bull rider. That's right. Yeah, Jeff Jeff was an old bull rider and he grew up riding bulls and he went to work for Wrangler and he's their marketing guy. So we'll make sure that he knows. So in at Howard we used to talk about the hookup. You know? Uh, you know, it's getting the hookup been de being ready when you get the hookup. So I'm a big advocate about the hookup and the relationship of moving forward. You know, moving the moving the, 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 the meter or the thing temperature forward. So yeah, so you got a good friend. So me, your mom and dad, we're gonna stay close. And I'm gonna be watching you for that, that big that big day. Cause that I mean, do you know how big this is? Okay, well, good, <laughs> good. You at least you understand, because I could see you on uh, Oprah's uh, show. You know, you ever seen Oprah? You know who that is? No, your mom and dad know who it is. See, Oprah is uh, her boyfriend Stedman is my cousin, so I got a little hook up. He don't like to do the hook up, but Stedman <laughs> is my cousin. I've had people stop me downtown and say, say are you you, yeah, no, no, do you look like Stedman? Oh. So you go from here to there. So, yeah, we look all alike. We're out of the Spalding family out of North Carolina. But it is truly, truly, truly my pleasure. Is there anything? I know you have a quiet spirit right now, but we're going to bring that around. But at the uh, NFR, when they win each night, they get them going up on the big screen. So Saturday nights when they give away all that money. So, uh, yeah. So this is this is good. Anything you want to tell Mr. Austin today? Oh, thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Look at that smile. You know. Yep. I like it. And um, I want to thank you for coming over and spending some time in my museum, and spending some money. And, <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, yeah, my wife said, my wife is, she's, she, she keeps up with it. She said, make sure you get that admission, you know, and all, but it's important, you know, so we just, yeah, so we had just got a $10,000 sponsorship from Wrangler, and we want to thank them. And, um, um, I'm going to do, he, let me see, yeah, he left me something, so there's a, free pair of jeans Whoa. and nice. uh, and yeah. I don't know they probably do Parker you know just go online and compliments of Jim Austin yes. and Jeff Chandler with Wrangler and uh, this this is uh, go online order them and uh, they Wrangler has the the western clothes and the jeans huh? <laughs> yeah so this is good so why don't you do a shout out to Mr. Jeff Chandler? Just tell him what uh, that you wear Wrangler and you appreciate them bringing them kids. You want to do that real quick? Just say, hey, Mr. Chan Mr. Uh, Chadwick, I want to thank you for uh, my pair of jeans. Thank you, Mr. Chadwick, for pair of jeans. Yes, yes, ma'am. And you want to say anything, Mom? We want to thank you, yes, for sure, Wrangler. And thank you for having us, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all are cool, you know. <laughs> y'all are cool. I mean, you came in cool, so we, we 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 cool, you know. So so that's one thing. Jim's a networker, a team builder, a giver, you know. And this is a great day for me that uh, this ninth of uh, December, I will remember uh, for sure. And uh, Parker, can I shake your hand, sir? Okay. 
It's so good to meet you. And I like the eye contact, like your hat, like the way that you're looking at life. And uh, I hope that you reach your goal of getting that gold buckle. And you're gonna, it's going to be competing uh, t tomorrow or t tonight, mm -hmm. tomorrow? So tomorrow will be the second round. So um, then the second round, the highest points, they take the top 20 out of the 65 and go to the short go. No, the long go. And then they go to the short go for okay. the buckle. Okay. Then world champion title. Okay. Yeah. And the, and the championship is what day? Is Saturday. Saturday. Starts oh. at 930. But it'll be all levels, so it'll be from walk and trot, so you can start walk and trot at 3 to 18, so it'll be all age groups. Okay, well, we might bring our little film crew over, and um, I'm going to be talking about you for a while, and uh, I'll let uh, Wrangler know about you, because they, you know, like those uh, corporate sponsors, they like to get in early, so uh, we'll let them know, and uh, this could be the hookup. You know, because we want you to make a lot of money so you can give some to my museum. Yeah, he thinks he's already rich. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, some of my best friends are rich. So so me and you are going to be good friends. And anytime you're in Fort Worth, you just yell, shout out at me. And um, that's good. So, Blue, how, many, how much time? I think we're about out of town. Oh, wrap it up. I thought so. Anything you want to say to my listening listening audience? Nope, keep listening. It's lots of great information and great history, and for sure, come down and support the museum because it's. I mean, it's awesome. It's just stuff that you don't hear about. So, CowboysOfColor.org. This is your boy Jim Austin coming to you from Jim Austin Online. It was my pleasure to talk to the Hooks and uh, welcome to Fort Worth. And I hope to see you Saturday. Okay.